more of this flavor in the studio with DJ Premier. You know what I'm saying? My man Little Dab, J. Root of Damages in the house. And my man Guru chilling in the background. Check it. New video. Snoop Doggy Dog, Gin and Juice. Yeah, back in effect on your TV raps. This dope beat in the background. Product of my man right here, DJ Premier. We in the laboratory, cooling out, just trying to get in deep on the production side of hip hop music. One of the top underground producers right about now. And uh, yo, man, all these knobs on the board and everything, man. What's what, what's going on with all this here? I well, mean, all of that stuff right there is, you know, is what enhances the sound that I make. You know what I'm saying? Like. Every channel is an individual sort of like equalizer. Mm. So each channel is used to shape whatever track is on there. Like if I have hi-hats, I can make the hi-hat sound crispy or thin or fat. Mm. I can make a loop sound bright or dull. But I can't really, you know, drop too many jewels because I don't think I'm the, you know, the greatest or nothing like that. It's just I don't really like to, you know, expose how I do my thing. Yeah. But I just like to let the music speak for itself. Well, there you, you go. Know what I'm Tell me a little bit about the process uh, working with. Let's say an artist like J. Rule, you know what I'm saying? What is the creative process like? Beats to rhymes. One of the rhymes first things, beat. one of the first things I could definitely say is the fact that, it, it, as you could tell from the, the way he comes off with his lyrics, we relate very similar with the, with the records that we like. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like certain things we hear, we just look at each other and we know. You know what I'm saying? Like I just look at, he play it. As soon as we hear, we just look at each other like. That's it. Just lay it How down. do you really describe that feeling? Because that's kind of the feeling I guess you would say an audience gets when they hear like a fat hip hop beat for the first time. It's like, how would you describe that feeling? I know for me, it's like a jolt of electricity goes through you. You just know, right? Well, for an underground audience, you know, there's certain things that they won't accept just from the way it sounds. Even if the rhyme is whack, it could be the beat, it could be the rhyme, but it's got to catch you to where it makes you just say, yeah, yeah, I can relate to this, I, you know, this is me. I know to me, it has to sound like muddy, like, you know mm, what I'm saying? True, Even yeah. though it's, it's loud or whatever, it still has to have like a dirtiness to it, like a little bit of static, you mm, know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. Just so you can get that feel. Cause I like the hip hop to be like it used to be, you know really what I'm though, saying? Right, kind of like so, old crackling, popping sound on the record. We just like that's how we just like to just put beats or rhymes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And get big, come correct with the lyrics. And that's you know? it. Yeah, that kind of reminds me like in the old school days of hip hop when I used to go see some of the top crews performing up in the Bronx in Harlem. The sound system, you could barely hear anything a brother was saying, but the beat and the vibe and the groove was just there. You know what I'm saying? And, that element's right, coming right. back in the hip hop. And that's what we trying to do, you know what I'm saying? That's our contribution bringing to hip hop. Back, you know what back. I'm saying? Because a lot of brothers out there like trying to represent this, this, and this, and this, and that. But I want to see brothers just represent skills and have people rock, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's represent mm -hmm. that. Because hardcore is all just about before it became money thing. Using yeah. the raw materials, that's hardcore. Mm -hmm. Records mm -hmm. and the beats and the mics and getting busy, that's it. Very little resources that's to make it. a big thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then you try to keep it simple, even though now that you've, you've, you've done a lot of records for a lot of different artists like Heavy D, like KRS-One, yeah. like many artists coming up like J. Rue, like, like Dap that you're working on. It, it, I think it just really just depends on just the, the, the sound. I mean, it, some people you, you can add mad like tw 10, 20 things, you know, because that's what it takes to make the whole thing sound whole. Mm -hmm. Some things, all the elements is there when it's just three tracks. And if it, all the elements is there, don't add no more to it, don't take nothing away from it. And it's just that simple, you know. Is it hard though to know when to stop? Not for us because we stay focused on not just ourselves but the industry. And you got to study the industry because it, 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 that's, our, that's how we eat. We all out to we eat. We're going to stop right yeah. now. Yeah. That's, that's, we know how to stop. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop it right now. Yeah, 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 and we're going to yeah, go yeah. into something, something dope. Well, yo, MTV Rap, we're going to be back. Two. Check it out. It's Jay with the damage of the original Dirty Rotten Scoundrel. Be back on Yo MTV Raps with my man Bad Five Freddy. Yeah, got yeah. the groove back there, DJ Premier. My yeah, man, yeah. the notorious Little Dap. You know what, what I'm saying? And we just gonna talk about right now how me and Premier got hooked up, you know, since we talking about making music and things, how we got hooked up. So I'ma just, I'ma let Premier tell him how we like hooked <laughs> up cop. Well. I met J. Rue at the Manifest video. For those who don't, don't know, that was the first Gangstar video ever put out. Uh, words are manifest. Word up. You know words that are right. manifest. I'm manifest. And um, J. Rue was there. You know, we hooked up. 
we, we um, started talking, said, yo, I rhymed, found out he lived near the area I was staying at at the time, you know what I'm saying? So we were just in touch, with, just on that note. And then he let me hear a few demos here and there. I could tell, you know, the potential was there for him to be, you know, in the business like he is now. Mm. So once he got to that stage, you um, just took it to the next level, yeah. and, and, and we got thing, cool. Another thing I like about Jay Rue is he was patient. A lot of artists don't realize that you got to be patient in order to get yours. You can't just some people's overnight MCs and they and they make it and they turn out large and everything, and that's cool. But there's a lot of people who's really representing that don't get on the way they're supposed to, but they, they're patient enough to just wait their turn. I'm sorry to interrupt. You. Explain representing as you just stated. When I say represent, that means you know, be yourself. You, you know. It, it, a per any pro anybody can see through a person who's not being real because you know because real is real like straight up and down. see people don't understand what real is if you are a priest or something then to you that's real you know what I'm saying and being real don't mean that you kill or you rob or shoot or whatever it just means you true to yourself and you do whatever you do just to do it you know what I'm saying you don't care what nobody else say so you real so that's why we yeah. real brothers, and that's why we make our music for the real people, you know what I'm saying? That's why we click off, because we all real. We deal with reality as far as reality is concerned. You got to be in touch with the youth, because the youth is the future, so... And we got some of the youth right saying? here, a little right. dab, who's been yeah, with yeah. the posse for My a long time, dab. and he's been real patient, Yo. right? Real quickly, little dab, what's coming up from you, my brother? Right now. We doing a little single, you know what I'm saying? And everything's going to be going right, right what's now. What's the name yeah. of the group? The group home. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the group. Yeah. Little dab yeah, for the group yeah. home. Uh, Remember name? My man. Melakai the Nutcracker. Melakai. Check it out. What's the video, Jack? Yeah. Zayla Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ego. Yo, trip. MTV Raps, and we uh, in deep, y'all, in the studio. All right. All right. It's New York stuff. Yo, we back on your TV Raps, and uh, we was just in the live, and, you know, hanging out with Premier and. Uh, Jay ruling everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just, just um, giggling over here, you know. Over some some little down low giggles. The down low giggle. <laughs> can, can we see Jay Rule? The damages in the house on your TV raps on a global scene. And yo, before we get into this last segment, I just want to tell everybody to send in their mail. This is so incredible, man. I'm getting mail from brothers in Tanzania, Nigeria. Namibia, France, yo, Japan, the whole thing is jumping off. Keep it coming, it's real fly. Now, as we wind this up on your TV rap, one of the things we want to get into with this here group, Gangstar, and like their extended family and posse and what have you, is the fact that as a group, um, you guys have been together for at least a good five years now. And um, a lot of hip hop groups have had trouble, especially after any kind of success. A lot of people start tripping, they have a hard time dealing with you know, the, the pressures of success and dealing with the machine and whatever, just, and how do you guys manage to, to deal with that, stay it's together? like this, me and Premier, we have an understanding. When we first met, we talked about all the hip hop records we liked, what we didn't like. We agreed on almost all the same stuff. So when we started putting our tracks together, it was from like a common state of mind, a common framework. Like, and when, now we have J-Ru in the cypher, we have my man Little Dap and the Nutcracker, Crack up, excuse me, the group home, you know what I'm saying, and Big Sugar, and that forms a foundation, Gangstar Foundation, including everybody else that's down with us, you know what I'm saying? And that's just a vibe of everyday life that we.